Today, we want to uh, look at the book of Matthew chapter 11. Matthew chapter 11, verse 25 to 30. Twenty-five. It says that at that time Jesus declared, "I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and understanding, and revealed them to little children." Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. And no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Amen. Here then, um, Jesus was teaching us the, about the rest. Okay. Jesus was uh, calling us to have rest. Uh, so, there are um, yeah. so uh, there are two kinds of rest, rest uh, in our lives. Uh, Jesus was uh, uh, introducing the true rest. Yeah. So, <clears throat> what kind of rest is it? Yeah. The first. Uh, yeah. Before then, then Jesus said that um, verse 25, uh, he said that at that time Jesus declared, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and understanding and revealed them. them to little children. So he said that uh, the people who, who are wise and understanding, they couldn't uh, understand, they couldn't know uh, these, uh, these things. But then the people who are like little children, uh, who are pure in heart and who are humble, they could understand these things. So it is your will, yeah, verse 26. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. Yeah. So uh, maybe people can be wondering, oh, why, why the learned and wise people couldn't know the will of God and then only the little children could know it. Yeah. But then it says that it is the Father's will, yeah. the God's will. Mm. Yeah, so the people who are like wise, uh, who think that I know, yeah, then they couldn't know Jesus. Yeah. The people who who think I learned, I know this all, this word of God, I know. Those people, the, they couldn't really realize Jesus as Messiah, and they couldn't accept Jesus. But then the disciples who are, uh, who are not really learned, who are not like, regarded as wise people, 
who are not really in the leadership. But then they were humble and they were pure. They knew that how they are not really wise, they could humble themselves. Then when they listened to the teaching of Jesus, when they looked at Jesus, then they could realize ah, He is the Messiah. He is the one whom God sent in this world. They could realize it. So when we are when we have the heart of like arrogance and pride, thinking that I know, I already know the truth, then maybe we could lose many things. We cannot really realize the message from God. Maybe we can depend on ourselves. Ah, I know everything, then I will do everything by, my, by myself. Okay. So, but then when we are uh, humble and we, when we have that uh, attitude to learn, learn more, uh, I don't know, please teach me. Then at that time, God can open his great world uh, and he can teach us something new, which we don't know, which we didn't really know. So, <clears throat> yeah. So at that time, yeah, many, uh, yeah, the religious leaders they couldn't really uh, understand and then accepted Jesus, and even, uh, even the John the Baptist. Yeah, if we read Matthew chapter eleven from the beginning, then John the Baptist sent his disciples to ask Jesus. Uh, whether Jesus is the uh, really Messiah, really He is the one. Uh, so he was like shaken in his faith. Even though he was at first, he testified about Jesus. That Jesus is the Lamb of God who is carrying uh, the sin of the world. Uh, he testified. Jesus is the one who is baptizing with the fire and spirit. I'm just baptizing with water, but then he's the one who is baptizing with fire and spirit. So he was really testifying Jesus when people didn't really recognize, he could recognize Jesus. But then later when he was arrested, then he he sent um, the disciples and asked him again, are you the one who are to come? And then, or should we wait another person? Yeah. So maybe the heart of Jesus, he could be very sad. So, um, so from that time, yeah. So verse 12, chapter 11, verse 12, saying that from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven has suffered violence, and the violence take it by force. Yeah. So before then, the people who are um, who are at uh, uh, like who are keeping. Uh, the law and then uh, who are keeping the tradition and uh, like serving God yeah. they were they were like uh, supposed to receive the kingdom of God they they regard they regarded like that but then from the John the Baptist the kingdom of heaven is like suffered violence and the violent take it by force it means it's not like uh, uh, just like very peacefully uh, the people who are supposed to receive this kingdom of God will receive not this kind of but then the one who really want to take it who are very violently who really aggressively uh, want to take it then uh, it is very 
possible. Uh, it it will be taken by those. Yeah? Even though someone is not like not um, expected to receive the kingdom of God, but then if the person really want, then he's really try to take it. Then the kingdom of God can be to that person, can be given to that person. Even the prostitutes, uh, tax collectors. Uh, even the Gentiles, yeah. not the chosen people. Yeah. So, yeah, the time uh, changed. Yeah. The new world, the new era uh, came, and then um, it is for everyone uh, who who are accepting, who is accepting the kingdom of God. Uh, it is opened to them. Yeah. So anyway. Yeah, that's how uh, Jesus was um, saying that uh, this is your will. Yeah. The, yeah, those these things are revealed to the uh, like children, yeah, to the people like children. Uh, and then uh, verse twenty-seven, it says that all things have been handed over to me by my father. And no one knows the son except the father, and no one knows the father except the son, and anyone to whom the son chooses to reveal him. Then, uh, yeah, so only the son knows God, and uh, yeah, also the one uh, son uh, chooses yeah. Uh, they know God. Yeah. So <clears throat> when we have that humble heart, uh, and when we are ready to listen, and when we look, want to know the truth uh, with a humble heart, then God will reveal to us His kingdom, uh, and then He will uh, reveal Jesus to us. Yeah. And then verse from 28, yeah, this is uh, uh, today we want to look at more. Yeah. Come to me, all who labor and heavy laden, and I will give, give you rest. Yeah. So Jesus was calling the people, all who labor and are heavy laden, who are burdened. Uh, who are carrying a lot of burden, uh, come, then I will give you rest. Yeah. So Jesus called us to have the rest in Him. Uh, so what kind of people Jesus is calling? The ones who have a great burden. Uh, what kind of burden is it? When we bring our burden to Jesus, then Jesus wants to give us the rest. So we need to bring our burdens to Him if we want to be rest, uh, rested uh, really well. Then we need to bring our burdens. Okay? So normally our heart has a uh, really heavy uh, when, we, when we have uh, many kind of sins. Okay. When we are not really living well, then our heart is dark. When our heart life is not really uh, righteous, and then if we are not living a uh, like righteous life, okay. when we have many kind of sinfulness and maybe addictions, or, um, yeah, then our heart is not very happy. Because we know what is a sin, we have that guilty heart. Okay? Then uh, many people are, are really looking for uh, the truth through uh, rest. Uh, yeah. Many religion uh, they want to also uh, solve this problem of the sins. Okay? So they are guiding the people to do this and that. Okay? So some people, like Buddhist, 
the people who want to live uh, the righteous life, uh, like taking taking out the burdens, then how they are doing? They are going to the uh, the mountain. Uh, in Korea, like mountainside, there are temples. Then they go there, and then they they are like um, they are going under the training, yeah? uh, training of like um, they are really limiting their lives uh, with many like uh, many things like meditation, and they don't really eat many kind of like meat. And then they don't spend time to do something like a joyful thing in this world, sinful things, but then they just meditate there. So, or uh, walking, yeah. uh, the, with the, their flesh, they are walking, and then they try to remove their sins. And they are also some religion, they give the, a lot of. Uh, um, a lot of things to do, like the law to keep. You should do this and that uh, to remove their sins. Yeah. They are giving more burdens. Yeah. So because of that kind of um, uh, uh, burden, yeah, the people they have more uh, more burden. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, even the this uh, the Judaism yeah, the, before Jesus, then they were really keeping the law, uh, all the law, uh, try to keep the law strictly. So um, to avoid the sin, uh, they have more burdens. Yeah, yeah so sin. Uh, sin is the burden to us, uh, which is uh, continually like uh, holding us, uh, pulling us uh, to the darkness. But then to avoid this sin, then the religion give a lot of uh, also burdens. So in Matthew chapter 23, verse 4, let us read, uh, how was the religious leaders uh, at the time uh, they were giving more burden to the people. Chapter 23, this chapter is talking about the sin of the Pharisees, the religious leaders, yeah. they are hypocrites. Yeah. So Matthew chapter 23, verse 4, it says that they tie up heavy burdens, hard to bear, and lay them on people's shoulders, but they themselves are not willing to move them with their finger. Okay. So they gave a lot of burden to the people. They are giving a lot of law to keep. Ah, you should do this and that, you know. In the law, um, there are many kinds of law. There are 10 commandments, uh, and also there are many laws uh, in the book of Moses. And also uh, the, the scribes of the law, they, were, uh, they are making the law more long. Like one law, they were making the detailed law. Okay. So one law could have a lot of explanation. Uh, like uh, what is the keeping the Sabbath day? Okay. They were explaining, yeah, if you are walking in Sabbath day, uh, then you are, it is breaking the law. So what is the work? Yeah. Then they were putting a lot of in the detailed law. Uh, maybe if you, yeah, if you hold, like lift, lift and walk uh, one kilometer, if you lift some uh, luggage, uh, and then if you walk one kilometer, that is walk, okay? like one kilogram of uh, like luggage, and then walk one kilometer, it's walk. Uh, or like if you are holding, like lifting up a chair, this is not the walk, but then if you lift up 
two chairs is the work. The kind of many detailed law they made a lot. So because of that, then people felt it is too much. Yeah. They, it's like they they were binding their them them uh, with the, a lot of law. Yeah. Then they could feel more uh, more heavy or uh, yeah. They are, they felt that this burden is more heavy. If we want to have a rest in the Sabbath day, should we really uh, like keep all the law? Then our we can be feeling that uh, we are resting. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. Our heart can be more um, like uh, restricted and um, more stressed or uh, more tired. Yeah. So uh, the the Sabbath day is for the people uh, to rest. Yeah. But then they were giving too much burden. Yeah. So like that, yeah, they made a lot of detailed law. So they, with that law, uh, they give a lot of burden. But then the religious leaders, they themselves, they didn't uh, try to lift up uh, with the fingers. Uh, Jesus was saying like that. Yeah, that's how the people who are under the law, uh, they, they had a lot of burden. Yeah. At the time of Jesus, so Jesus said that uh, you who labor and heavy laden, uh, if we want to be perfect with keeping the law, then we should keep all, uh, even not uh, not leaving one. Yeah. We need to keep all the law, but then. We are not able to keep all the law perfectly. Uh, that is our uh, reality. We are sinful and we have sins. So we are not really keeping all the law. We cannot. Eh? But then the religion is uh, trying to uh, keep a lot of uh, burden uh, and then they say they are uh, through keeping the law, then you can be righteous. Yeah? But then that is uh, uh, impossible. Yeah? So, but then Jesus said that, I will give you rest yeah? from all the burden uh, of the sin. Uh, if you come to me, uh, I will give you rest. I will carry your burden. Yeah? So Jesus carried our burden of sin on the cross. So when we, when we meet Jesus, our heart can be uh, really uh, feel free, uh, freedom. And then we can have the true joy because Jesus carried our sins. So we can bring our burden of sins before Jesus. So when we come to church, what we should do at first, it is we need to repent our sins. We need to bring our burden and then we need to repent our sins. Then it's like we are doing shower. We are washing our all the dirty things. Jesus is washing away. Jesus can cleanse us. So that our heart can be light. Uh, we can feel the rest in Jesus, in His love. Okay? So uh, that is the love of God. Yeah? Jesus, like, mm, uh, the, <clears throat> the law is giving us the burden. If you do this sin, you are a sinner. So that uh, you must do this. You must receive the punishment and then you must uh, do this uh, to to be released from your burden. And then, yeah. so a lot of uh, law give us a lot of like uh, heaviness and then the guiltiness. But then, 
Yeah, sin is a sin. This is uh, we should uh, avoid, and then we should live well. Uh, but then uh, no one is righteous. We cannot really uh, say that I'm righteous perfectly. So how can we do uh, our sin? Yeah. So we need to come to Jesus, and then we need to repent our sins. Then only through Jesus, then God can forgive our sins, and then God can change our lives. Okay. So um, with the love, uh, God is um, uh, willing to accept the, these sinners, and then uh, He wants to change our lives. Okay. So the faith is accepting this love of God. Yeah. Even though we are, uh, we are sinners, yeah. but then God didn't ask our sins, but then God accepted us. Yeah. This is the gospel. So Jesus is calling us with his love. Uh, you come, and then I will give you the rest. Yeah. You have rest in me. And then um, from there, you can have the new life. You can start a new life. Okay? So that is the, the good news for the sinners. Okay? So uh, let us come to Jesus and then uh, let us have the, this, uh, this forgiveness, receive this forgiveness, and then let us live the new life. Uh, so we need to have this rest in Jesus. Yeah. That is the good news to all the mankind. Yeah. Because we ourselves, we cannot uh, come out from uh, this heavy burden of the sins. Yeah. But then Jesus carried for us our sins. Yeah. So we need to be united with Jesus. Uh, when Jesus went to the cross, then we can also die with Him in our sin, uh, with our faith. Then God will forgive our sin and God will uh, uh, accept us. Okay. And then there is another, another one. Let us read verse 29. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart. Lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls. Yeah. So here then, Jesus is talking about yoke. Uh, my yoke upon you. Yeah. So even though Jesus said before then, you lay down uh, your, your great burden. Uh, you just lay down, and then I will give you rest. But then here then, he said that, take my yoke upon you. Yeah. There is another burden, uh, Jesus' burden. You need to take my yoke upon you. So when we lay down a burden, burden of sin, then Jesus is giving another burden to us, another yoke yeah, to carry to us. So, what is this uh, yoke? What is this uh, burden? Verse 29, uh, uh, it says that also, For I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. So, he said that this way you can find the rest for your souls. Yeah. You will have the true rest in your heart. Okay? If you do this, if you carry my yoke, if you take my yoke and learn from me, then you will have the true rest in your heart. So um, the first yoke was the yoke or burden from our sin. But then that one was uh, already uh, solved by Jesus. Yeah, as he carried uh, 
uh, our sin on the cross and he died for us. But then there is another yoke. Yeah. This yoke is uh, we also need to carry the yoke. This is not for our ourselves, yeah. but then this is for others. Yeah. So the cross uh, which Jesus carried, what is this? It is for others. Yeah. Jesus, he carried for the sin of the world. Yeah. So Jesus, he was suffering because of the sin of the world, yeah. because of love. Yeah. So this yoke is yoke of the love. Yeah. So when we have love, then we can uh, we can suffer for others. Yeah. So it's like the parents, the mothers, or uh, the parents who are uh, working hard for the children, uh, day and night. Yeah. So it is not for only that person, only the parent alone, but then it is for the children, uh, for the family. Yeah. So, but then, even though uh, the parents are like working hard, but then they don't complain. Uh, ah, I'm only the one who is who is suffering. Uh, why I should do this? I don't want to work. <laughs> Normally, the parents, they don't do this, yeah. but then they are willing to uh, work hard uh, because they have the love. Yeah. And then they want the, their family to live well, uh, to, to maybe their children can be educated, yeah. they can live uh, well, so that they are willing to work hard. So this yoke is yoke of the love. Okay. Yoke uh, for the for the people. So Jesus is uh, calling us to take the yoke of Jesus, okay. and then He said that I am gentle and lowly in heart. Okay. His heart is gentle and lowly. Okay. This is uh, like with uh, His love and His humble. Okay. His heart is lo loving heart and he's humble in heart. So you need to learn from me uh, this heart. Uh, so with this heart, you can do it. Yeah, you can carry the yoke. Yeah. So and then when you are carrying the yoke of Jesus, then um, you will find a true rest in your soul. Yeah. So Jesus is teaching us uh, how to carry the yoke of Jesus. Yeah. So when we are carrying the yoke of Jesus, yeah, participating to carry this yoke together with Jesus, then we will feel joy. Yeah. So through, uh, through the true love, then the true joy can come. Yeah. Uh, so love and the true joy is uh, going together. So if we really truly love, then we can have the, uh, we can feel the true joy. Okay? So the love uh, of Jesus is sacrificial love and unconditional love. Uh, even when the people were not ready to love Jesus, they didn't love Jesus, they hated Jesus, even they killed Jesus. These ugly sinners, okay? so we are the really ugly sinners who didn't really listen to God uh, and who didn't really love uh, who love Jesus. And we were really breaking the heart of God with all our sinful life. But then God accepted us. God wanted to forgive us. God wanted to serve us. Um, so this love is unconditional love without the condition. So if we also can learn this love and if we live with uh, this humble heart uh, like Jesus uh, and if we are willing to serve others, then our heart will have the true rest. Okay? So um, 
that is the law of love, yeah? law of Christ. Yeah? So Galatians chapter 5 is saying, um, Galatians chapter 5, verse 2, It says that bear one another's burden and so fulfill the law of Christ. Okay. So uh, when we are uh, bearing one on another's burden, uh, then uh, we are fulfilling the law of Christ, law of love. As Jesus uh, went the way of the cross with the love, and you also follow his way. Yeah, they are another's burden. So, uh, and then it is chapter 6, verse 2, and then chapter 5, verse 13. It says that, For you were called to freedom, brothers. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. Yeah. So, uh, we are free. Yeah, Jesus uh, set us free. Uh, uh, so we are now free men. We are free uh, from the burden of the, uh, the law. Uh, but then you need to serve one another. Yeah. Even though you are free men, but then you need to live like the servant, like a slave to serve other person. Yeah. So uh, even though we can just live <laughs> yeah. just enjoying the freedom but then uh, if we can um, low ourselves and then if we can serve and then if we can carry other people's burden uh, then uh, this following the life of Jesus and then we can really have the true rest in Jesus in God so I hope we can meditate uh, this this words of today, then what this means? Uh, what is to take the yoke of Jesus and uh, carry it in our lives? Okay? It is not our yoke. Uh, Jesus already uh, like uh, solved our problems, uh, but then we can carry others' burden. Okay? We can also share. Uh, this gospel to other people. Mm. We can accept uh, other sinners with the love. And then we can try to uh, remove their sins with the forgiveness and with the uh, unconditional love. Yeah. And then we can guide them to God, the God's love. Then it's also we are uh, participating this uh, yoke, uh, the yoke of Jesus. So I hope we can uh, meditate and we can follow this way uh, in our lives. So let us pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time. Thank you for your word. Father God, uh, we were once, uh, we were great sinners and we were only taking care of our lives, uh, uh, looking at our lives and only for our uh, our things. Then you called us to the um, greater life. Uh, you removed our sins uh, through your great sacrificial love through Jesus Christ, Father God. And um, also Jesus called us to take uh, his yoke, uh, yoke of uh, love uh, for another person. Uh, so we want to know and we want to also carry this yoke in our lives. Father God, please teach us, please guide us our lives so that uh, we can know uh, how to carry the yoke and how to live um, uh, like participating uh, this um, uh, the yoke of Jesus uh, 
Father God, so so that through our lives uh, we can also um, uh, make other people to uh, to uh, to come back to you uh, and to be free from their sins and uh, they can really understand your love uh, through their lives. Uh, Father, please be with us and please guide us, teach us continually. We thank you for this time and I pray it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.